as far back as I can remember, I've always sought attention and approval. I grew up in a pretty negative household. I grew up being verbally and emotionally abused. I was told almost every single day that I was dumb and stupid and that I would never amount to anything. And, and I believed it, so I lived my life that way. I did meet Jesus when I was about 12 years old. And I remember that I loved hearing stories about Jesus and I really wanted to know more about who He was. So at about 13 years old, I accepted Jesus in my heart. I remember I was baptized and I was filled with the Holy Spirit and that was the most wonderful time in my life. But um, no one ever told me that I had to read the Bible. No one ever showed me how to read the Bible. I didn't know that I could be mentored. I didn't know that I could be discipled. And when I was about 25, I was so severely depressed. I remember just taking off, trying to go somewhere on vacation alone to try to drink my depression away. I woke up in my hotel room because I couldn't breathe. My lungs had collapsed and I knew that I was dying. And I remember crying because I remember thinking, I don't want to die. I haven't done what God needs me to do. I remember this, having this sense in my heart that I was made for something. I just didn't know what it was for. I ended up blacking out, but when I woke up the next day, I thought, okay, he spared my life. Now I'm going to do 180 and live my life for God. I remember that I joined the first religious group I found and I, I felt approved. I felt like that um, I was getting the attention that I always sought. Um, but I didn't know that it was an organized religious cult where I was used, I was verbally abused, emotionally abused. After so many years, uh, that church got shut down. And when it got shut down, it left me so broken and so all alone because everything that I thought was normal wasn't. And it just made me a very angry person. And I literally just stepped into darkness and I started to isolate and I didn't want anything to do with Jesus. But I always remember deep in my heart a scripture that the Lord gave me when I was 13 years old when I first accepted Jesus in my heart and that's Psalms 119, 105. He is a lamp on my feet and a light on my path. And so I knew that He would show me the roadway to freedom. And so I trusted God and just went on that journey. And I was introduced to the Cause Church, and I learned that I could be mentored, I could be discipled. I'm just living the life that I've always wanted. I remember that for years, I didn't even know what my dreams were anymore because I had forgotten them. But I remember telling Jesus, I don't care what my dreams were, I just want your dreams. I want your desires for my life. I just want to live a life that honors you and gives you glory for the rest of my life. My relationship with Christ was fully restored, and in receiving His forgiveness, I learned how to forgive those who have hurt me in the past. God has not only restored my life, but He has restored my relationship with my friends and family. Even in my darkest day in Jesus, I found hope.